Spread up in them can't stop you. Pleasant good night everyone. It is Monday night. Yes, it is officially Monday night and it is officially a night for another awesome show again. Happy to see everybody checking in tonight. Melissa, I see you. Big up yourself. Glad to have you here tonight. All right. I'm going to see a couple other familiar names jumping in fast and in a hurry. Glad that everybody is checking in tonight. Now, we know so we had a long weekend. All right, you know, say so Friday night was no show. And holy of people reach out and say, Unstoppable, welcome to the show. Although I don't tell you no, that there would have been no show Friday night. But nonetheless, it show me, say, boy, even when there is no show, you don't miss the show just the same. So big up to everybody. And everybody who has a good night, good night to you all. All right, so I'm not going to waste no time because as we know, the show only has one hour and then it done. So without any... Further, watch this now. The topic on the screen says, I was deported to Jamaica. He was my strength. But then everything changed. Boy, people. People. Now the caller tonight, she's actually seeking some advice. So I don't want to play a stush tonight and be scared of ringing off the phone line when the phone line actually gets open when the phone line open more want to know just call in and give the caller some advice because she's actually seeking some advice on what to do after she already shares her experience to do now the ear what exactly our dilemma is more want to know just uh, ring out the phone after the hook and give this caller tonight some advice all right now before i introduce the caller to the show only remember the rules of this channel if you are here for the first time, very first time and you don't know, we not tolerate disrespect, we not tolerate name calling, you're not going to disrespect my caller, you're not going to call my caller in the name, and you're not going to disrespect nobody in the chat either. You know, share your opinion, but in a respectful way, or else my beautiful moderators will have no choice but to just black uno. All right? With that said, caller, good night. How are you? Good night, good night. I'm good. I'm doing well. First, I'm, I'm going to say thank you for contacting well. the Unstoppable Live show. Now, I know you gave me a little short snippet of your situation and you want to share it with the audience tonight. So what I'm going to do as usual, I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to give you the platform so that you can take over and share with the viewers what your situation is. All right. So tell me from start to finish what really are going. Go right ahead. And where I feel the need to ask right. questions, I will jump in and ask questions. Okay. No problem. Go right ahead. Well, good night again, everyone. Good night again, everyone. I'm happy to be on Mr. Unstoppable Show. And a friend of mine from Carousel recommend the show to me. Well, for a beginning from the age of 17. At the age of 17, I got pregnant. Dropping out of high school my last year in high school where my mother had paid money for me to do something sexy. When I got pregnant and she found out, I told her I was living by my grandmother's house at the time. My grandmother said, well, you can't stay here, you know, I go carry over your mother's house. Just in the process where my mother put me up, I sent my over. My grandmother put me up, I sent me over my mother call. My mother said, no, she can't stay there, she have to leave. She have to leave. And I went to one of my cousin's house. At the time, and you know, this trial confused and off the why I got through some period of separation day. Some separation day, pregnant, young, 17. I remember one time I looked at the newspaper and said, I'm going to look at work. I'm going to call the work down on Spanish Town Road and I'm going to look at the work. And when I reach there, I tell the man, say, me, come about the work. And he said, You name so and so. And your mother name so and so. Listen, a lady, I can't hire you. Yes, you're 17 year old. I can't hire you. Your mother said she would stay a friend and shut down my business place. And said to my friend, jump in and said, then if your mother put you out of your nana, you have to go. And your nana, you have to go look up or see when the man said, okay. We go ahead and put you up on our work and then put me up on our work at the city. When I did it, the lady, one old lady, and I said, you need to so right. And she said, every six o'clock, you have to walk, go see the road and walk in, come back the road and sometime in Egypt. So I said to myself, I said, then I will me do your so. I can't go stay here, so. So I draw a help on her and tell her, I say, you know, so I have my grain and the and thing. And the lady said, Lord Jesus, I can't go keep you. Uh, you sick and my son kick sick. How am I going to manage? Anyway, we reach a bus and go back to St. Thomas. Ah, uh, chips still reach me. At the time, meet a local man. And I go on with the man. And the man, you know, I take care of me. I never want the man. 
and go on when I could get to that, I could buy my little baby clothes and stuff. For. And I make it and cut the story short. And I go through some rough time during my pregnancy. I have my first child at 18, the next one, I have the next one at 19. And that's the life even rougher. I'm trying not to have food, I never have to eat. You understand me, I have to walk and beg because something about one thing with me do, always determine. My mom goes to the bomb and get a security work. At the time, I had a son, I had 21. I go on to my local work and so forth. So till when I had 24, no mom, I said, no mom, I have to cut out of the security work business. I have to fly out back here. So. I fly out back here. So I tell her, say, I just a life hard, brother. I'm going to tell us a life hard, life hard. So something what I do. I never, ex- me never do them there in Jamaica. I tell us some hardship when I go to thank God for a little friend of me over here. So when I meet up on her, she was my rock and my strength. When I tell me I pay her rent and up on the floor, I sleep. I can't buy a bed. You know, some of them book on a Asian friend and then give me a look give me a look half a bed day. I just say spring it now on a mattress. I eat me one of my friends have to wrap up and sleep on. During the process where I go on, you know, say, nothing I go on, say, I go mess around, and I mess around with one and two, man. No one but two. You know, say, I get pregnant one and two times. I get fair about it and thing because, I me, go with it. I can't afford it. I never have food for myself, now nah, nothing. And, uh, I tell people this, sometimes we left a country and go other place a look better. But sometimes, on some way, if we have to go through. Remember one of the time, the way things are, you know, Remember, I go sleep out with that man in the room. I stretch my hands so the man look for me and give me 10 gilda. I say, I say, I feel like dirt. I never know 10 gilda how much it value of Jamaica. A yeah. Jamaica at the time. All right, you know. But no value nothing say about 1,000 dollars. Remember one time, I was pregnant and I lose that pregnancy. Then I lose that pregnancy. The landlord said to me, say, if I don't pay her water yet, I said, I don't have money right now, and the work kind of slow down and thing. And she said, you know, I never met them come cut off a light water rate, a problem, and it's a Jamaican no man too. But I rent a room for now. And she never had a son, did there other people come there too. And you know the pressure. So I left, and I go check a man, and I said, you know, I beg him my money. and say, he yeah, had the money, but I have to sleep with him first. But I kill the sleep with him. Because the, the process of time, I go through a fear. I got you a, a pregnancy with me, I lose at the same time. But anyway, the next month, I go back a little later and tell her, you know, say, I don't get no money. I don't have no money. She said, well, I don't know get it from. So I go back the said night, the other night. When I go, I have to sleep with the man in the state where I'm there, you know. And I start to cry. I say, Lord Jesus, I say, what is for me, God? What is for me? Look at me come to you, man. And anyway, the man, the man give me your money and, he said, I go down the road, go look at a vehicle for me. I can't get for it. Go home. When I look, I see I have some money put on. And I take out the money where I put on and I make his put on my clothes and I cut. Take a different road for him and run and get a bus. I'm a fat too, you know, so you know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a journey. But I come down to the path, yeah. Remember next time again. I live nowhere this time. I'm going to get somewhere, get place to rent and I'm going to live. I remember me meet this gentleman, but when I go to the landlord, the landlord never did that. But the gentleman said, No, so I know the landlord I've been living next door. Since I know you, yeah, you have, I know your friend them. You can't jam with me till tomorrow morning you go back. When I do that, I jam with him and tomorrow morning I go back. When I go back, the gentleman still never did it. So the third day, you now I end up there, the gentleman, yeah, I'd see him here. Yeah. And uh, I said to myself, so long as I turn them in the pond, this is someone I never want to look at, you know, look at sex and thing. And I said, Jesus Christ, what is for me, man? And I start to cry. And I said, no, so I'm not want to with them. But I said, no. I said, Lord God, I want you to take me out of this. And I start to cry. And the man lied on me. But anyway, I have my condom, so I'm going to get the man the condom. And the man took the condom and looked down for me. And he put his head, lie down in my belly. And I said, Lord God, I said, where are you? You had with her not, and he turned to me and said to me, I said, no. I show you God do it to me and save me. Years after, one of my friends called me. When we get deport now, and there, Jamaica, one of my friends called me. Him. But the man knows him have the killer disease there. But you know, him know, 
him never have no sex with me, because I'm new. You understand me? I said, look how God saved me. Anyway, I get deported and come back to Jamaica 2013. And then I'm 28 years old. I'm come and I tell you, I'm come to you, but I don't know if you go better. No way. No family, nobody, I have a friend. We live in a mountain view, a big woman. So come, I can't leave your road. I can't leave your road, and I'm dead there, bunks on, bunks on, bunks on to that. I tell my God, I sent them on some people, them there, and my granny did that, and they used to have a helper, we look out for and the helper left, and I say, you know, I'm going to go and do the work, so I can't get the money for send them, and pick them up here, so. I'm going to them get left up here, so. I'm going to buy them ticket to them, come up here, so. Come from here, so. So I'm going to them get stuck up here, so, for two years. Right? I'm letting them work with my granny, and you know, your family, you have some family we treat you like, you know, nothing. We look like, look on you like the mat, like, you know, nothing. So them the people that treat me and then the people that people that society people could have buy my pit them a ticket. Without them have a feel for the money. They make me pit them come home. But anyway, in 2014 now, I meet the love of my life. That's our meeting. I meet in Bantag. Hear this and now. It's unstoppable. I tell her, say, God send the man in my life at the right time. Because me almost have committed suicide to the amount of stress and things that me have got through. Some hardship, you know? So I'm meeting now. I said it's too good to be true. I said, Lord God, they send me a man who is perfectly for me. Perfect. And I said, God, I make a promise to you. And I said, certain lifestyle, I'm not living in a lifestyle again. I shake up my family around, you know? And me and my mother are juggling. And I tell you, I look at my grandmother. Sometimes I left all the way from down at Finn Parish and come to my center. I see my family live at center. I said to me, you know, see how you, I'm really come to center. I must come build with you. And he never knew everything we are going with me, but he bring comfort to me. He never have it financial wise to give to me, but whatever look with him, have him share and look with him out. If he may come, I like first, I like it all on Sundays. I tell you the truth. All the way from town, you see him by a Sundays and mothers wrap it up. Good, good, Mr. Unstoppable. And Carol come and send us once and I tell her, say, brother, when you think said it, I melt out. Melt out? Melt out where? Stand up, Steve. See him where? You understand? Me? Remember time gone with me? When you hear all the taxi, I come from along the road. I show you how much joy this man bring to me. How much joy I come here and say, why? You know, it's like some saved by the bell. You understand me? This man brings such a joy to my soul. I remember one night, I go away. go away. I say, yeah, go away. And he say, yeah, man, if we go away, no, go take a taxi and go down because I can't sleep by your people in place. You understand me? I say, yeah, say so you feel. Say, yeah, what go on? Huh? You're going to let it through the back door. And at that, I start doing, and let him through the back door and so forth. And you know, sometimes somebody will come in and dash a car and hide and thing. You know, I will love life. I go on and keep connecting with the pit and them and talk with the pit and them. He motivate me. He's a very nice guy. In spite of all of the bad way he do me, he have some good quality ways in a family man. Very, very nice guy. And eventually, I get a boss. 2015 and come America. When I come America, many my drive go to the airport and thing. I must say, why you not gonna come back here? I'm saying, worry yourself, man. You can't lose half of me. And me name, me name, me member kindness. Me coming back. All right, I go so bam, get a bus from the farm work. I'm come and I work. I'm do my time. I'm come back. 2016 now. Me I tell you when me go. And come back, we go straight to care so for my children. Then. And before that, he said to me, say, call up the immigration them, explain to them, and tell them who you is. Declare yourself how long you was there, where your children them there. And I will do exactly as what he say. And the immigration man tell me, say, when you come, just call me one week before. And I do exactly what he say. But even before that, let me get a little piece here. When I get deported from Pierce, I did go back in there. I got some bam bam. I buy a 
new birth paper and buy a new passport and thing and touch back. And I'm a touch back the people that recognize me and me. And people that lock me down back. I want in the jail cell. The minute they might come check for me if I commit suicide or so, you know, I mean, if I say, what do you know? I'm strong in that time, they may dead inside them, it's unstoppable. My ball, my ball, my ball, my ball, my ball, Mr. Jesus, I want me to do so. And you know, say, when them, them send me back on my book, the chief immigration officer here, and she said, what's your name? And I tell her my name, and she said, look on the nice name where you have, where you get the name from where you are using another passport? And I tell her something. God have something in store for you, you see. You know, for them language, you know, them talk, and them talk about the mental. So God have something in store for you, you see. God have something big in store for you. Look on a nice name where you have. He said, when you go back to Jamaica, you know what you're going to do for me? You're going to change your name to your current name. And I that me do when I come back. And anyway, I get the bus and come to America, get my kids them from Kiris and all of that. When I check to step through Kiris, I come, I come like VIP. I let me chief immigration, I buck up. She said, me, you know, I want to visit your friend them. I get one week in the country. I said, no, man, I don't want more than three. Though. When I look at me, I'm a kid in the man. Look, a man, I stand up to me, to pick and kill him. Me and him, you know. You know, I so said, I touched back America 2016. And I buy a one-day ticket, you know, and come from America just because I'm dead. I'm missing, you know. I said, no, man, I want to go, I can get a little piece and thing and fresh up myself. And I understand, surprise, you know. I said, in 2015, when I touch out. The America. I forgot all the peace of the America. I said, Oh my God, what I can do to tell this guy thanks for all the things he can do to me. I never really bought nobody who really love me. For me, everybody who I know I use and abuse. You know, I got through some heart. I never know somebody that bought somebody who really love and care for me. I'm a children then. You know? I'm saying, I think, I'm saying, no, what I can do. I'm going to go to Obama. I'm saying that I'm going to keep a surprise birthday party for you. I'm going to stay in America and plan everything. Keep a surprise birthday party for you. Invite us some people where you're not sitting in life for school days. I'm going to say, boy, that, 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 that I will make you and show thanks. Anything I have, Mr. Unstoppable. If I have $10 and you don't have none, $2 out of $10 for you. I'm going to say, I'm going to send money to Jamaica and some hundred thousand. I'm say, Take out them pit in the lunch money. Do that. Do this to me. How much money I have left? And he say, you know, so me have on 35. I say, count out 30 for me. I say, you see that 30 that we have? You know, maybe you do it for me. I my money towards the care insurance. Because I'm not carrying about that money. I say that I might half of the money towards the insurance. Because I don't want you alone. Juggle with it, you know? I mean, say, how much money I have left? And I say, one well, five. I say, I'm going to use that and fully down. And girl, remember all chicken we always together. Remember one at a time, he was telling him, encourage him, and say, put in some chicken with that to our partner. And I gave him a first son. He said, like, come here, bank, and I gave him a first son. So by the time I forget you, you give me it back so I can drop it back in my bag. And he tell him telling him to say, he was putting some chicken down there. And the day, when he forgot for the chicken and the same, then he had to call him and tell him, say, no. It has a smell of the neighborhood and this, that, that, and all kind of something. I have to run, go up the road, up and I'm a friend. I'm a friend if you can put in some, throw him where I go, and if you can put in some chicken that they cook for me. And he said, what? Anything for you, man. And I saw we start juggling that I want 30 chicken. The next time I put in our next friend, cook, put in one 35. So the next time I tell me start, build one full cook now. The local money when I work with my granny, I use that I build one full cook at the time. One look old man he did it. He got checked for me. I mean, I'm taking money off of the man and the lot of folk would be nice and thing, you know? And we start raising chicken now and you know, we are gone. I'm mean, the American thing. And I said, I'm the American in 2016. I'm gonna pick me up a year, put everything. I notice, you know, greet me. Like the greetings that women that normally get. And I said, What you all right, something wrong with you, what happened? I mean notice say. You know, pay me in mind. You know, when I text that often, I WhatsApp that often. 
You sign out now. Now, woman, the boy I have, man. Mm. You sign out a woman, the youth have for me, you know. Because I'm so good to the guy and everything, you know. You understand me? You know, I sign out and confront him and everything, man. The girl in the back to back. I say, listen, me. You know, I can't run up in this and mash up this and start, you know. So, I don't know who you are, but you have to stand down, my sister. And she decides that she now back and decides that me now back. And she said to me, sorry, I'm going to do it. Anyway, I've done it. You know, 2016, now everything done. Me get pregnant, feel me lose that baby day. I mean, you want that child, I'm not getting up in there. Then I said, I'm going to do it. I said, boy, if I'm not my husband, this is not father, God, I'm going to ask you to feel me now. Because I tell you, I want that child for my husband. Oh, if you give me a child and take it back, God. I mean, I'm a ball, you know. A ball, you know, to God, you know. I said, God, what is if you take it back, you give me the one look out, man, and you take with your husband now from the lad. You understand? Anyway, it's run off. I come back a far now. I'm telling you, say, you know, say, I'm going to sign you up. And he said to me, say, all right. First, when me tell him, he may want it. Then after, the next year, run off. I said, look at that word, the way I do, man. Because it's not nah, again. You know, come here, some man. Come work money, man, and it's all we build together. And he said, yeah. You know what I'm saying, Mr. Unstoppable? Stoppable. You know what I'm saying, man, dropping out of the place. Now, 2017. All you see me, I kill up myself, I come and find I'm a walk, I walk, I walk, I walk to a job. Walk by my original work and walk at night time at Walmart. I left off my original work 10 o'clock in the night and I have to start Walmart at 10 o'clock, but then give you a look at extra time, I come in 11. I left off of the work the seven first night to start work back nine forty five and ten o'clock sometime. Come here, supervisor. Walk come and decide to make him work the money to save it. So that me can help him come and everything. No son that the money which America and everything. Me I call him, me I call him, me I say he must come now, can you call me and tell me come off of the plane and I'm sorry, I'm call on the front deck. So I'm call on the front deck. I ask for your name. Then he say yes. You live a room, such and such. So I call him and say, you know, should I be the first person you find? He must say, yeah, man, but you may just come and think, man. I just say, I go and be like, I'll find you tomorrow. He say, find me tomorrow. Come on. You know, that time they had girl, the man, girl, the man, you know, 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 different girl, you know. Anyway, I'm going to get pregnant. In a two-two, year joke, in a 2017. I get pregnant and I tell her, I'm going to go to work. I'm going to go to work with him, I tell her, boy. Jaja, I tell her, I don't even like me, ma. Sometimes when I'm not hungry, still kind of make me hungry. But sometimes when he flare ups up on me, I don't want you. I don't want you. I don't want to pick the way you care. When I get here, I give you money if you go to the pit because I don't want you. I want to pick the way you care. I want to jump in your car. I want to start my family with them, baby. I don't want you. One way you're going to say, me, you know, and me, me, we help you. Right, so me, you know, say, this me, this, you know. I ask the first question now. This is how I ask the yeah. first question now. So, you bring him out the States. Now, the thing is, mm-hmm. you, you notice you said earlier that you remember a point where you go down and him, him not even greet you, like, him whole attitude towards you change. So, yes. why you still consider for bring him over after you notice that? All right, let me tell you why I still consider. Yes, when there was nobody there for me, he was the only person I see. All of the transition I made go through in my life, I'm going to get deported. He was the only person to stand up. I tell him I don't see no mother, no father, no sister, no uncle, nobody. The only support I did have was him. So I so said to myself, I can't be ungrateful to him. It's a somebody who me love me. Can't you know me forgive and move on? Can't be ungrateful to him. You understand me? Cause he's a good youth. I mean, he's a good youth. You understand me? Still, I will have to try and see the relationship work out. You understand? That's why I keep holding on. All right. The next question. So when him when him when him start telling us him now why you and all these things, what what go through your mind at this point? <laughs> Why? How can I get something I go through my mind? And at the time I'm searching for me, searching for me, see a woman, number. 
man, I yeah, sit down and in front of me, I text all the girls on the phone, and I don't even know, and I talk to me good, good. I don't even know, say all the girls in my text. Say ungratefulness is worse than witchcraft. I'm going to tell you, say I'll do it, my hunger, me and my mom, still a whole lot. I start by all the baby clothes from early. Yeah, that's when I tell you to me, I'll get a picnic, if I got that shit, I'll come in on one, you're my mom in Jamaica, she me one. She me want that she me want to start my family with that thing. Sometimes I'm bad and I look at me, I tell her this, the face, the body, I'm free, and the body is out there, but my mind, a different place, and I say, God, I will make do, I do everything I know as right as a woman. Everything, I share with them, me. I'll do them, I tell me, and then something, I cook, see them here, and give me food, see them here, wash them clothes, see them here. Then I said, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm a daily same in a journey with him, same here. Remember when he was shopping? He was shopping with the girl. I'm going to stand up and look. He packed all his bags and he was sweet in the end of his head. It's a funny thing in my yard and things and stuff. But you know, as you know, so when I was going to go in 2018, now I come back. I come up for come have my child and things. I cook at the clock. You hear saying woman a breed of Jamaica. When me have baby, she pregnant. He said, but how about this year? But he never tell me I find me. If I know time, could he tell me? He said, oh, when me hear a man in ketchup, he said, fine. And normal, I tell him, I'll tell him up like dog. You understand? But all of that still, still, with the wedding man. Remember, last year, Last year, hype on him, hype on him, hype on him. I can't find him. He class me. When you ready for class me, I'm the worst man ever, David. And this, I'm in a one, yo. I'm a pit in a one. And he having woman. And when the woman, yeah, I met the woman cuss me when she ready, you know. And I did answer them, you know, because my mouth is in church, you see this. And I remember one time, you know, I jump on a bus from St. Thomas and Angola. With my half a machine, I'm a bag in the car. I'm saying, I'm a pit, I'm a cell, 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 I'm a I'm a cell, I'm a cell, I'm a cell, I'm a I'm a cell, 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 i am a cell i am I learned in the money for my foreign. 2,300. And I'm going to tell me to get back out there. I'm going to cut and go out. Bad. To get back my money. You know, you know, you say, car pass get hot, you know. The man, the girl and his family, the man, all kind of bang bang or something. But what do you expect of the girl? And I don't think I get no, so car pass hot no on him, brother. Anyway, last year, he asked me for your assistant and I help him back. And I still I go and mingle, mingle, mingle around with him, you know? Because I have two kids already. Wait, wait, wait. Two wait, different. See, wait, this is what confused me. So, mm-hmm. you help him out one time, him dog, yes. you he like a dog. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Him go back and you help him out again. Yes, 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 yes. So why, why you constantly yes, put yourself in that situation? That's the same question me asking myself. You understand? If it's that, yes, I love this person, but I love this person to an extent where I can't say no. And this person, sometimes the words that come from the mouth. Sometimes, you know, the person treat me, you know, me still be good. Anybody can tell you. Who know the story? I still be good to the person. You understand? I keep on saying, like the other day, me I talk to a family member. Is I say, his mother rather. I mean, I say, you know, say, why your son was dear for me in the time I'm in need. I just can't turn my back on him when he need me assistant. But when you assist him, as somebody else a benefit. My my child now nah, benefit. And at some point in time, I have to draw the line. You understand? Because this minute is by me. Next minute, I'm gone. So. Anyway, last year, 
come back up and work. That is so good. I save my money and I buy a car. I buy a car down in Jamaica. I buy a car from Japan and put it on the road down in Jamaica. I don't know nothing about the car business. So I am up and down and run around the paperwork and all of that. I put it near on the paper. You understand? All of them something run on and do the paperwork and put in name on the paper and so. I said to him, so listen to me. Me and you know so this guy no belongs to you. Push the pump the shovel and me pass off right now. You just know what say. I'm a children them care and them for benefit from it. And so, but me try everything, Mr. Unstoppable. Me try everything like to me do over now look a corner and I wave me and I say, see me here, see me here, see me here now, me you know. You know, I see me. You know, them look away. They see you notice me, see you acknowledge me. You know, the funny things about it. Between the years and many, my friend, I never cheat on him. When many just don't get him, you know, if it's well serious, I never look at man. And when Mrs. said serious, I drop off the man all to complete. It was a married man, too. You understand me? I mean, I want to bright to the thing, too. You understand me? But over the years, I've never. I travel in America. I have never stepped out of the relationship and go and get the next man or look at the next man. Never. You understand me? Never, never. It boils down to the time now where he need me assistance again. And my team say, no, brother, can I help you? This time you have a woman, the woman don't go have one picnic or two picnic. You understand me? You have to turn to them now for your assistance. I can't help you again. You understand? So right now it's a carry all vexation and feelings, but why are better than vex? You understand me? So I ask viewers if you do my story long enough, you know, but me have to cut it up short, you know? You understand right, me? So, I say? Right. You have my pan speaker? No, man, no. All all right. Right. Speaker. All right, so... You're, you're actually still involved with this man right now as we're speaking? Yes. Yes. But well, the thing is, you know, the thing me ask myself, oh, why me not cut loose of this person? After this person have done me so much, embarrassed me, have done me so much, but when me look back at myself, know where me a journey from, I come far away to me so unstoppable. I come off far away because I never know some media come all the world. Care. Care American, care Jamaica. I never know. All right. Say me. You know? You know? First, first, let me say this. I understand when you say, him why you help him for come back and all of these things right now. And the question we are trying mm -hmm. to find an answer to from the viewers tonight is whether or not mm -hmm. you should help him, right? Right. All right. What must I do in terms of this whole scenario? Well, me, I me, need to get out of it. Let me, me give you the first advice. You have to value yourself. That's the first thing. You have to value yourself. Mm -hmm. Now, I can understand that you feel like when you was down by your face, him the dead of you. Because as you say, you never have no family member or nothing like that where you could have turned to and him alone you could have seen. When you did just get deported. Right. I understand right. you feel like you're in debt to him for that. But when a man dog you out in which the way or him dog you out and tell you, say, I don't want you. Me have my woman and mm -hmm. them things there. You have to take a stand, right? And mm -hmm. look into mm -hmm. yourself and say, listen, me value myself more than this. Right? Mm -hmm. And you have to tell yourself, say, listen. That's enough. You don't help him enough. You help him enough already, you know. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. understand? You have helped him enough already. So whatever him do for you after you get deported, you've already paid that back to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have already paid that back to him. All right? Mm -hmm. So listen, yes, him yes. not respect you. That's the first thing. Him mm -hmm. not respect you. Because if him did respect you and respect the relationship where you and him build, him wouldn't Dog you out the way him dog you and I tell you say him have him woman and him no want you. Yes, man. Right? Yes, man. See him so. So mm. you are left now pondering whether or not you should help him out a third time. This will be the third time him want you assist him for getting yes. out of the States. Yes. So you are pondering whether yes. or not you should help him out for a third time. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you what to do, you know, but I can tell mm -hmm. you this. You are going to help him again, he might go come and he might go do the same thing because he feel like he have your wrap up around him finger. 
Yeah. You understand? And if you continue yeah. to do that, him just like continue using you. So what yeah. you need to do is you need to value yourself. You don't pay back for whatever assistance him give you while you was down. You're not owe him nothing yeah. right now. So if him yeah. want for malice you, as you say, it a carry if it a cause contention right now. If him want for malice mm. you, then so be it. Look after yourself and your best interest. All right? That are my advice for yes, you. So what I'm going to do right so now, if you, if you have anything else for share, you can continue. If not, I'm going to warm up the phone line so that the callers can call in. Because I know some people want to give some advice to. Me give you my one. Yeah, man, want them. All right. So I'm going to give you the, the opportunity to say your last word and then I'm going to open the phone line. Even my other, I have two be working. 117 this year, 115. If them get so attached to him, them call him daddy. So them call him and say, I'm my father. Dad. For the respect where them have him and to him treat them. And when me look for see, this minute in, this minute though, sometimes the children don't ask me like, mommy, where so and so there? Why daddy's not home? Why so and so? Even me look a baby with me have now. Sometimes she wake up. She will feel, she say, oh, daddy, daddy not here? You know, it's heartbreaking. I want to let go and expand. I want to let go and expand. This is not healthy for me. So whatever the viewers have to say, I'm open up to listen and see what I can take from it. You understand? Because me as somebody hardworking. I hardworking ask anybody about me. And I know me I struggle to live for my own for me at 17. Mother tell me, say, me can't stay my butter. Let me tell you, so when I tell my butter, so I tell my free flu on myself in the mirror when I live here. care. So the amount of man for me to take. When I may not get nothing, I think about six pregnancies in my heart. You understand me? So I know what struggle is. I know what hunger is. I know everything. You understand? But at the moment, I'm going to change up my act, change up my lifestyle. And things say, yes, I'm going to settle for something good now. I get abused the same way. You understand? And I don't think it, it's, it's not fear. To me, I don't think it's fear for someone who's a genuine with you, someone who's stand with you. If me I come from America, when I buy a thing in the pants, I have a dozen in the pants one time, sometimes 24 marina one time, in clothes, in shoes. I'm I share everything with him. When I hide nothing from him. Share with him, help him, everything. And these are the things I get. So now, the girl I breed for him, turn a pillar of salt, confused, and know if you do. They turn a pillar of salt against him. Now, I quote was there, you know. Yes, my son, step forward. So that's my local story for tonight. And whatever the persons want to say, I'm open. For whatever answers they can give. All right, you can jump onto the show, just type in Unstoppable Live and jump onto the channel and just listen in as the callers share their advice to you. All right, because I'm quite sure Thank the you. phone line actually start ringing off already. So, you know, <laughs> say, a whole heap of people who have to share them advice. So, jump yes, on man. and take a listen. All right. Thank you. Thank you and very thank much. You for sharing. Bless up yourself. Yes. All right, so viewers, listen, the phone line is open right now. When I can start calling, 876-420-3368, what advice do you have to give this caller? I've given her my advice already, you understand? Because straight up, I mean, it is as clear as day what she needs to do, right? But she need somebody else to tell her, you understand? Now, while I'm waiting on the phone for start ring, as a matter of fact, let me check, let me check, because I know it ring off for the hook a while ago. Let me go check, let me go check. All right, see there? I know a lot of people, 25 missed calls. <laughs> Yo, the caller you have the phone line ringing off of the hook tonight. Caller, how are you tonight? All right, my missed that one day and it jump up now to 30. The phone in line is open again because I want to jump off a while ago as my answer. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hold on, the other one I look like a face so I recognize. So, I'll go on. Hello, good evening. Good night, everyone. Good night. How are you? I'm not bad. I'm okay. I'm actually here listening to this caller, and um, I'm going through something similar, mm -hmm. almost identical to what she's saying. Um, what I've come to accept, though, is that 
people really don't care these days. They're just um, selfish, and everybody's looking out for themselves based on experiences I've had so far. Mm-hmm. What I've told myself now is that I'm going to be looking out for myself. I'm going to be looking out for me. Other times I'd put persons ahead of me, think about other person's feelings and their needs and leave mine at the back. But I find that that's not being appreciated by people and I'm the one ending up with hurt. So I'm going to put me first now. Everybody is going to be in the back. I'm going to put me first. And that's what's working for me. That is how I'm able to get over the hurt that um, I have been facing recently. And that's helping me just accepting that, you know, people kind of off these days. I don't know what's going on. Mm-hmm. And she just need to put herself first. She just put you first. So yourself. yourself. Yeah. Value yourself. Right. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, I'm worth something. Right. Who cares what they think? Who cares if he doesn't want me anymore? Right. I'm but here, I mean, God. Him God already said him no want her. So, yeah. I mean, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. But, and maybe he's just holding up time. Maybe somebody else is there who is as genuine as she is, where him just take time from that. Um, relationship she would be having with that person, and that who is exactly how it mean always good. goes. That is exactly how it goes. Is. Somebody right. is just there filling that gap while the right person is there to step in. Waiting. All right, right. Carla, thank you. I was for reading sharing. the feed. Okay, no problem. All right, blessings. Thank you for calling. All right, so the phone line is open again. Let's go. It's 876-420-3368. Boy, the phone I ring off of the hook tonight. Listen, listen, my people. The phone is ringing off the hook. I know say Oli Pauno want to give some advice to this caller tonight. So let me get right back to another caller right now. Good night, caller. You got disconnected the first time. How are you? Oh, hi. Good night, and How are you guys doing? I'm good. Good, good. Listen, I've been listening to her story, and she's a real survivor. She's a warrior. She is. And, yeah, man, she's a warrior, and that girl is going to do it. I think she's still stuck into that gratitude zone mm-hmm. where she thinks she owes him something. <laughs> what my girl needs to do, like the warrior she is, adjust her crown. and say, big man, guess what? We got you together. But everything we can't do for you already, and you still diss me. Yeah, yeah, maybe we are going to enter into an agreement now. We are going to lend you this. We are going to draft this up. Because she still feels such a way something, we are going to draft this up. You need to pay me back in the installment, or you need to either pay me back all in one go. Mm-hmm. You have a family, me have my family. You understand? I don't think she loves him anymore. She really don't. But she's got no one. And in her lowest point of her life, he was there. And he knew that. And because he knew that, he just keep taking, taking. My girl, you give him your all. Right. You give him your all. There's nothing more left for him to take from you. Everything he takes. You've been through worse than this and you survive. You understand? You miss AIDS. You understand? You miss a life sentence. What is this? This is nothing. Lend him the money because you really want to do it. I know you want to do it. But once you lend him this money, agree with it, draft it up in front of even one liar so that you can get back to your own. Do what you have to do for your youth, them, and love him. My girl, you can't do this all by yourself. You know, so far, nobody not help you, you know. Mm-hmm. And you do this with the grace of God, you know, my girl. Mommy never did it, you know, daddy never did it, grandma never did it. And just a grown big girl. I just do what you have to do. Lend him the money and make him just go on and clear your conscience because guess what? Him nan go go nowhere because him ungrateful and him bad mind. And so I tell the girl, say, well done. But I tap her up on her shoulder. Right. That be called big man thing. You understand? All right. You take it easy. I love the work you're doing, all right? Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks mm-hmm. for calling, all right? Yeah, man. So the phone line is open again. It is 876-420-336. Yes, somebody say, Miriam, say, I need to limit the call to one minute. I'm kind of agree. So call us. Let's limit the calls to one minute, because I only for people are calling. So let's limit the calls to one minute, all right? Janine, 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 what are you Good night, Mr. Adsafa. Good How night. How are you? Bless uh, good. Let's cl- Janine, let's, ke- <laughs> let's limit it to one minute, all right? Because I only for calls are coming. All right. The thing we can do that. Point blank straight. You have to love ourselves first and think about you and our youth. Them. She already paid our dues to this man. This man see our weakness. And him just a panda panic, him just a chicken and a short. 
because him know say she, you know, she go keep on thinking about what him do for her. But the thing about it is, she not owe him nothing more. And at time for she let go and take care of you. She have a youth for him, and that's all the concern she needs to have between she and this man right now. Him not mean that no good. Him don't get what him want and still feel like it's every time him fall, she can pick him up. Time it done, it's over with. Call it a day. Ah, yes, say, yes, yes, head a mouthful there in a, in, in a less than <laughs> one minute. Big up yourself, Jenny. Thanks for calling. Zane. Respect. All right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> bye bye. All right, so Jenny in say, listen, call it a day caller. Nobody waste not another second upon this man. I eat that done. Wrap it up. All right. Yes, see him with so. Good night, caller. How are you? Good night, unstoppable. Pick up yourself. Let's keep this to one minute. All right, what you have to say? I want to make this a man ungrateful. So, my mom is not telling me that my heart is bubbling. Run. Mm-hmm. Run for your life, mama. Run, run like you say. Run faster. You see, you see him, baby. Me, I tell you, he never love her in the first place. He never, never, never love her. He won't just want to use her to get where he can get them caught. You feel like he's an opportunity. That's him, it. See? Yeah, it's an opportunity. Him, see, so he can, he can get the opportunity to get where he want. Then, where everything when get them, he just gone about in business. He never love her. Mm-hmm. So. So if she can run now, run. Not even lend him the money. When the caller just come off the phone, lend him one. I'm not lend him a cent. He not even get a cent from me. Me go my way. Love yourself, sweetheart. Love yourself. Pray. Just call up to God and pray. All right, Carla. Big up yourself. Thanks for calling. See you? Good night. Yeah, man. All right. So Carly Unstoppable says, Ah, uh, good night, Unstoppable. That's good advice you give the caller. Love what you're doing. Much appreciate. Blessings. Big up yourself, Carleen. All right, so let's get back to the callers again. Nolan Baxter, big up yourself, my family. Thank you for that super chat. All right. Miriam, what go on, Miriam? Let's keep it to one minute. What do you have to say? Yes. Yeah, good night, everyone. Good night, Unstoppable. Yes, I have to say it's time for her to treat herself. Leave that man alone. Mm-hmm. That man don't mean her any good. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's time for her to pamper herself and leave that man. Let that man go. Mm-hmm. Yes. She just needs to find somebody else where really mean or something and then yep. fear her the right way. Yes, yes. yes. she needs to get rid of him. That's all I have to say. And look after her and her children. All right, Miriam. Big up yourself. Thank you. Okay. Big up. Yep. All right, so Mama Mary say, listen. Mama Miriam say, leave him alone, focus by yourself and focus on your children. Him not really important right now. I hope these callers giving you the answer that you seek tonight in a caller. Because you say you want some advice. And I think, I mean, I gave you the first advice. And all these callers tonight, uh, everybody can see clear as day. So this man mean you no good. All right, caller, how are you tonight? Hello, oh, good night. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for calling. Hey, I love your work. I know you're keeping the call short. Mm-hmm. Lady, run. Tell the woman, run, look back. The boy, if you got your calf, he's a wicked. Mm-hmm. Look after the youth, man, man run. Girl, and run, because guess what? He might take up space for another man. Mm-hmm. Make him go on. The right man, not another man. The right man. You know what I mean. Yes. You know where I come You're from. Right, man. Because she's a strong woman. Mm-hmm. She needs God will put a good man in her life. Right. Move up the boy. I'm the boy. Exactly. Good night. All right. Big up yourself, Carla. Thanks for calling. Queen SF Rose, thank you so much for that super chat contribution. Carleen, thank you again. Totally appreciate it. All right. I like how Carleen I do the thing. TR, big up yourself, my family. Thank you as well for that super chat contribution. All right. Dr. Mia, what's going on? Good night, everybody. Good night, and stuff. Mia, your phone will crack up like water tonight. Let's keep it to one minute, though. What's going on, Mia? Talk to me. Good night. You hearing me better now? Look a bit better, yeah. All right, maybe because I was in front of the phone. All right, so I'm, yeah, I'm going to keep it low. I'm just saying that we women, like I always say, I'm not going to stop saying that it's going to be a broken record to everybody. We just need to value ourselves. I'm tired of saying this. And... I'm guessing all these ladies heard about you from somebody and all these ladies have been hearing and hearing all these different, different kind of stuff. So with her, it's enough for her to actually just get to know what she wants and do it. She did so well by helping him and he's mm-hmm. still doing it. And, and but the, 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 the idiot boy just bright too. 
But he a mean woman. I want to tell you I have a similar experience. You might go over into one minute. I had a similar experience. I may tell you, say, honestly, when that come out of his mouth, I don't, I'm not an abusive person, but I slap it back down his mouth. Honestly, mm -hmm. I did. I ain't stay with nobody who don't value me. Face your breath out of I'm a grieving her. Let the man and go and buy your business, but you're going to give money. Give what? You know what? Man, buy mm -hmm. stuff. Good night, right. everybody. Big up yourself, Dr. Mia. Blessings. All right, Susie Unstoppable, thank you for the super chat. All right, let me take a few minutes right now and, 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 and big up the people who bless up the show so far. More officer, big up to Sophia James. Thank you so much for your super chat contribution. Kanika, big up yourself. You're the second one who jump in and say Unstoppable. All well, that. Kizzy Unstoppable. TR Nayeri X, blessings. Chloe, bless. Thank you. International Intellect Forever Unstoppable. What a name, Lang. Thank you for your super chat contribution. Anna Keisha, thank you so much. Carlene Unstoppable. No, Nylon Baxter. Carlene Unstoppable again. No, me. Oh, yeah. SF Rose. Susie Unstoppable. Thank you for your super chat contribution. Let's get back to the callers. Carla, good night. How are you? All right. We missed that one day. We missed that one day. Let's get back to our next caller. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We missed that one day a while ago. Wally Pakal still are coming in. Wally Pakal Wally pa still coming in. All right. No. Answer no. Answer no. Boy, you know, say Queen Rocks are call, you know. Queen Rocks are call. I'm a miss Queen Rocks call. Finita, I see how I saw you call. All right. Call back people. All of who missed the call a while ago. Now, in the meantime, I'm going to say big up to uh, Susan Benjamin. Thank you so much, Susan, for your contribution to the show. Joy Blackwood. Thank you. Miss V. Thank you so much. And also, as I said, Sophia again, much love to you for always contributing via PayPal and also to Super Chat as well. All right, let's go. Answer the call. Answer the call. Answer the call. Let's go. All right. Let me turn on the volume. Queen Rocks, what's going on? Volume. I'm too much of pain to stop. Listen to me. I'm paying a ball up here like a fit up, but I can't hold it. I have a ball out. Mm -hmm. You see that man there? That is not a man, that is a man for him. And he know that she feel indebted to him for whatever he did to her, right? So if he buy her, if he buy her a bread 10 years ago, she'll keep giving him bread mm -hmm. for the rest of his life. Mm -hmm. Make him rock off, mm -hmm. okay? She had enough. She has to keep her sanity for herself and her children, right. okay? And check out my motivation Monday because today's topic was about red flags. And people taking you for granted that knowing when to walk away. It's funny enough. So I had to grind it and call in. Okay, so that is it. Pray right. for my people. Good night, everybody. Right, Pain kicking my back. Right. And I hope okay? you feel better soon, Queen Rocks. I mean, I like when you're sick, you know. Don't like when you're sick. Okay. But big up yourself, Queen Rocks. Take Let's care. Come on. All right. All right. Love on all. All right, people. So keep Queen Rocks in our prayers because Queen Rocks is not doing so well right now, health wise. So we can keep Queen Rocks in our prayers. So the caller. Is getting a lot of positive advice tonight. Everybody I say, listen, baby girl, love yourself, run away from this man, and focus on you and your children. Carla, good night. How are you? One minute, Carla. Let's keep it short, all right? Yes, good night. I'm a man also, and I'm just advising this lady, just keep it real. Just take care of yourself, baby. Spend your money on yourself. Forget about all the foolishness, yes, all right? Yes, yes. That's my advice. And, and, and my general, first, thank you for calling. You're the first man who actually took the initiative for calling tonight. So, well, the first yeah, one man. that I actually... This thing goes both ways, you Yes. Know? And you, you know what? Yeah. Would I love if the man them on the show would I decide, say, you know what? I'm going to call in and give some advice. So, because the men are keeping too quiet. So, may I applaud you and thank you very much, my general, all right? Yes, man. No respect. Blessings. Yeah, me like how the general called in a while ago. You see me? Yeah, Rush Link, blessings, my boss. You know, more and more man for start speak out now. Why is it that the man them on the show are keep quiet? You know, if I know man like Gary, right, or the Royal General, or the General ever just call a while ago, why the man them are keep quiet? Man like Tony Tough Day and all them man them. What, what, what go on? What go on? Where John Wick there? Where the man them there? Why the man them now speak out in the night and give the lady, some positive advice coming from a man. You understand? That's what I'm talking about. So let's get back to the phone line again. We have a couple more minutes left to go. I'm just going to use the couple minutes and, you know, receive some calls. Turn down the turn down the stream for me, the caller. I'm sorry. That's fine. Good night. Good night. Good night. 
You know, when I see a foreign, like someone foreign with a Jamaican next to them, it's a force to be reckoned with. But why is it us Jamaicans together? It's like we use each other. It's it's just a consistent mistake that we do. I don't get it. Like, color, you're an awesome woman. Like, you did all of that and you could do it again. You really don't need a man to next to you. You could do this. Like, hold your head up, girl, and just keep it moving. Love you some more. All right. Totally appreciate that. And you were short and direct and to the point. Thank you for calling in. And me know this is not your first time. Me like how you're keeping it active. <laughs> Thank you. Big up yourself. All right. You're welcome. Blessings. Good night. It's like how the caller they call in a while ago. And along with the other callers who are always calling in. I saw me want the whole lot of you start calling in to and participate in the show. You understand? Good night, caller. How are you? All right, greetings and respect due to the one called Unstoppable Live. Derek How are you, C. sir? Williams, is... my boss. What's going on? Yes, sir. Talking to you live from Philadelphia. Yeah. Real quick, um, based off what I heard from the caller, I, to me, I just took it as, as, as yet another woman that fell for game from a man, and then the man used up, up for what she, he could. And then he just kind of got rid of it, you know, kind of like how a parasite does. Mm -hmm. Suck all the blood from the person mm -hmm. and leave them where they at. You right. see this all the time. I'm prior Navy, and I saw that all the time when I was in the military. Um, this, will, this will never stop, in my opinion, because you have so many women that are seeking love, and they're looking for it in the wrong places. And you're going to have unfortunate situations like that. Right. And so that's really, that's pretty much all I want to say. Shout out and respect due to all Unstoppable Crew members, and thank you for taking my call. All right. Blessings, Derek C. Williams. Thank you for calling in. Totally appreciate it. And like I said, I appreciate it when the men actually reach out and voice their opinion. Thank you, Derek. All right? Yes, sir. Take care. Blessings. Salute. All right. So, people, that was Derek C. Williams over there right on YouTube. You know, you can check him out. As you know, always hear me say, by the way, you know, you can check out Derek. Derek always has a few positive things to say. All right. My brother, T.I. Yes. You know something like how the man them. I, I take my advice and I call in now. Tiara, what are going Big up. Yeah, man. I want to say greetings to the ones and the ones and from the program scene. Big up yourself, Susie and stuff. You don't know the things that are the SFOs. Big up yourself. Seen. John John and the rest of them people there and everybody. Anyway, let's take let's take this time and get quickly to the situation at hand. Um, first of all, I want to say everybody, every single person, including the, 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 the caller, the girl that was on the line. Mm -hmm has to take responsibility for his or her action. In her case, let me just say her, she has to take um, responsibility for her action because she has allowed this guy to have gone this far with her. But the only good thing that, I, that is happening right now is that she, she, she woke, you know, she, she wake up before it goes too late where she's losing her life. So I want to say congratulations to you that you've opened your eyes up before you've lost your life because mm -hmm. many women has lost their lives um because you know they've stayed in the situation far too long and and the, and the men take advantage of the situation so i am so happy that she got the chance to be awake before you know her life has been lost so yeah. big up yourself carla run run quick 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 take care of yourself take care of yourself and take care of your your, your future and your child did she say she have a child yeah, she has, she has children, actually. All right. Yeah, take care of children, man. Focus on the little ones. They man focus on yourself. You don't know, say, you know, I saw the thing figure. Forget about the man. Make him go about in business. Straight. Mm -hmm. All right, brother T.I. Blessings. Big up yourself. Thanks for calling. See you? Yeah, man. Every time. All right. So, people, that was T.I. Nayeri X, the king of the royal family. You know who that is already. Because you hear me always I call out him name on a regular. All right. Let's get to another call right now. Call a good night. Good night, good night, good night. Okay, I just want to tell the caller that the change has to start with her, you know? Because men will only treat you how you allow them to continue to treat you. So true. And if he knows he could... If he knows he could treat you a certain way and then come back and sleep with you and then beg you money and beg you for help, he's going to continue to do, yes. to do it. Yes. You have to value yourself and love yourself and say, I'm worth more than this. This is not what I deserve. I deserve better. So if you don't ch make the change, there will be no change, period. You have to love yourself and value yourself enough 
how could you have a man treating you like this? Right. At this point, it doesn't seem to me like you're even in love with him. It seems to me like you're obsessed with him. And there's a difference. Right. Okay? Because that's not love. She feels as Color, if she's I obligated wish... to him. That's the thing. But she, she, she helped him out so many times. She's right. finished paying him. Right. She's finished paying back for all that he did. You can't have somebody tell you they don't love you. They don't want the pitney. They want to give you money to abort it and think that it's natural or right to stay with them. Right. No, that is not love, baby girl. That's abuse. Right. I wish I knew you, that I could give you a hug, you know, look in the mirror, tell yourself that you're worth more than that. And the change begins with you. You have to make the change first. All right. All right? Thank you. You're gone over a minute and 37 <laughs> seconds. You know. Come on from my phone. Good night. Big up, Anika. <laughs> big up, Kanika. All right, Kanika. You get your big up. All right. So, yes, that was the caller. And that was the last call I'm taking for the night right there. I want to say thank you to every single person that called in tonight and gave some advice to the caller tonight. Well, and I'm going to call in. Well, let me see if it's a Monday. Carla, turn down the stream for me. Turn down the stream. Turn down the stream. Turn down the stream, Carla. All right, all right. Ah, it's a man. Yeah, ready, ready, ready. Glad me accept that, call. I'm a general. Yeah, we are saying now. All right, all right. Good night, unstoppable. Bless you. And the um, the unstoppable, the unstoppable family. So, you know, this is my first time calling in. I've been listening to the show for the past couple of weeks. And, um, <clears throat> you know, the, sto the story of them crazy. You show sure mad. And I'm the light mad. You call it but, general. I'm going to make this nice and sweet for this young lady. Because what she's dealing with right now is our... <laughs> Trust me. It's like she's caught in a web right now and she dodged a bullet already. Mm -hmm. with, with the whole aid thing. Right. And because the, because the way she, 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 you know, the way how she, she into this man... Him can't catch something and get to her because she's so caught up in him. Mm -hmm. You understand? So she, she dodges already. This right here might be her calling and she don't know. She better run now. She better run right now and run for her life because this can be our death right there. Right. That is all I have to tell her. Trust me. I know how things go. I know she love hard. I know what kind of woman she is because I deal with women like her already. They mm -hmm. love hard. You understand? And once you catch a woman in a trap and, you, and a man know him got her, that's it. That woman, him, him know already, she, she will do anything for him. And because of that, and because of how she feels, he will always take advantage of her, and that is the door open. Right. See her for potentially catch something where she dodge already. Right. I'm telling you, baby girl, run for your life. Run now. Do not give him the money. Do not give him the money. But I tell you right now, don't do it. Thank you very much, man. That is my take. And, you know, I just wish her, wish her you know, a whole heap of luck and bless up for everybody, you know? All right. Blessings, my boss. Thank you for calling, Zane. Are you need for calling more often, man? Don't just be a silent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, no, no, definitely. Definitely. You hear from him more often. All right, my general. Blessings. All right. So, Elizabeth, you said it's not fear. Accept your call. Call in right now, Elizabeth. I'm going to take your call right now. I saw your comment. Elizabeth said, unstoppably, it's not fear. Take my call. So, Carla, turn down the stream, turn down the stream, turn down the stream. Carla, once you're calling in, please turn the stream down. All right, Carla, what's going on? Hello? Yes, it's our next man. Big up yourself, my boss. Thank you for calling in. Yeah, yeah. Tony it off, tony it off. Big up yourself, unstoppable. Tony tough. Wow, go on, and all the listeners. First time you're actually a yeah, call call my boss. No, man, this is the second time second I called last week. Oh, you called last week? All yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I chew, yes, I chew, yes, I chew. I remember now. What going to 20 tough? Uh, yeah, so I'm just calling because, yeah, same thing what the people are saying. The lady has to run still, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yes, to run away because that man don't want her. And, well, how he batter up inside Jamaica and she's working two job and we're going, finishing one, one job at 10 o'clock mm -hmm. and then going to her next job and working Walmart all night right. in the snow. In the coal, right. you know how hard it is over here in firing, mm -hmm. and then you go into Jamaica, get bad up like that. No nah, man, run we left that. Right. You know what I mean? You don't need them. You, you don't need them type of badness in your life. And the, and the use them, they want a father, but they, when 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 you find somebody that's nicer, then then they can say, okay, this is the one that's taking care of me. Because if it's not their father anyway, it don't even matter. Right. You know what I mean? Even the worth. Yeah, man. So. Even the worth. No, it's definitely not worth it. Move on. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Because even if he don't kill you, like the like the last caller said, right. why why you want to run down the man if we go kill him in, with, with machine at all over Jamaica and them thing then? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Go on with your life, caller. Run where left that. Right. See? All right, big up yourself, and right, but big up enough. yourself, everybody in the chat room and all the moderators, them. All right. See you, yes, Tony. Just big up yourself, my general. Thanks for calling. See. All right. Yeah, man. All right, so Elizabeth, I'm waiting on your call. Call in, Elizabeth. I want to hear what you have to say, cause you say it's not fear. Accept my call, unstoppable. All right, Nigel, I call. Let me answer, Nigel. Nigel, what's going on, my general? Yes, man. Bless up, man. First time I call, you know. No, man. I may have your number in my phone. Nice. What you say? Story with no, me unless you message me. Big up yourself, Nigel. What you say? Yeah, yeah, me have, yeah. This man, I, 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 he is a, a sleeping police on a highway. Mm. You understand me? So I want to just get with them all to complete. Yeah. And that man, straight. You know what? You know what I like, man, Nigel. You know what I like? I like uh -huh. how the man them are calling a gear some advice. So she have to take heed to this. She have to take heed to this. Yeah, but. You see, I just because more time man do a listening ear, you know, more than for, you know, mm -hmm. react on them thing there. But definitely, me have to step in tonight and make a one know. Because she needs some man positive advice. Good man out the same way, man. Because yeah. me know, say, me a one of them. You see? So me no one know, say, a man out there, he'll treat the man and her. You know? Exactly. And make we look short. Yeah, so I that me have some respect. And bless up all the callers. All right. Blessings, and bless up the lady. Yeah, yeah. Man, big up. All right. So that was Nigel right there. Nigel, big up yourself, my family. Thanks for calling. And to all of the man, them, Tony Tough, TR, Derek, all of the man, them were calling. Big up on yourself for calling and share on the views. Why is it that Elizabeth not called me back yet? Elizabeth, the show done over. You know, Elizabeth? Elizabeth, I'm only waiting on you. You say it no fear. So... Where is Elizabeth Carl? Are you alone? Me are waiting right now. Anyway, so as I said, viewers, thank you very much for your continued support on the Unstoppable Live Show. All right. I want to say thanks to a few persons who, you know, showed me constant love over the past couple of days. You know, more often say, um, big up to Susan. You know, Susan, you know yourself if you're here tonight. Thank you so much. You know, you know the, the, the effort that you put in, Moffat said thank you. And also, Jai. Jai, thank you so much for, because, boy, may I tell you, Jai, you never stop. You, 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 you remain consistent and you're trying, you're trying. You say, unstoppable, I have to do this. I have to get it done. So, Jai, thank you so much for being so persistent. I appreciate that as well. All right, Miss V, much love to you. Sophia, James, as usual, thank you so much. And may I send again a next shout out to the Super Chatters tonight, the Super Chat crew, big up, as me say, you know, it goes to Sophia James, Kanika, Kizzy, Unstoppable, T.R. Nayeri X, Chloe Bless, International Intellect, Anik, Anna Keisha, Carleen Unstoppable, Nylon Baxter, Carleen, why me keep on a repeat Carleen Unstoppable? <laughs> Carleen Unstoppable, SF Rose, Susie Unstoppable, Sonia Andy, Janine Unstoppable, Tony Hendrix Green, and Michibu, thank you so much for your super chat contribution. And the new, very new show boss right now, once again, is TR Nayeri X. So TR, big up yourself right, right up there for being the show boss. I totally appreciate you all the time. I want to say big up to Mama Millie as well. Me see you, Mama Millie. Hope you're feeling much better tonight. Although even when you don't feel that good, you're there same way rocking with the unstoppable army and more of say big up to john moore joan moore i see you in the comments big up yourself joan and ferran big up yourself ferran glad you're there tonight my boss blessings all right now also i want to send a huge shout out to all my moderators thank you so much for being here with me each night night in night out all right and showing much love Mary Mish, big up yourself thank you for that super chat contribution and also i want to say to all the tr members here tonight welcome and thank you for coming all the royal family members in the building thank you for coming over tonight and showing some love to the unstoppable family tonight all right carleen thank you again for that super chat contribution you have been going all night carleen totally appreciate you and Susie unstoppable too you know and all the other names that i mentioned all right i want to also say welcome to 
all the new viewers. All the new viewers who are here tonight, I saw where Mama Maslin welcome everybody and say, all the new viewers, if you're here, welcome. So thank you, Mama Maslin. Thank you so much for welcoming all the new viewers. And I saw where Dr. Mia and a few of the other moderators welcome the new viewers. So I'm taking the time right now to welcome every single new viewer that is tuned in to the show right now. If this is your very first time here, thank you so much for coming. All right. Shell Unstoppable Lee, thank you so much. All right. Now, all right, Joanne, it's very simple. You can either click the PayPal link down in the comment section to contribute or you can send me a WhatsApp message to that number and I will give you the Zelle information, which is pretty simple. So if you have Zelle or Cash App or you can use the PayPal link, which is down in the comments, um, Joanne, I hope that answered your question. All right, so to anyone who wants to contribute to the show, it's pretty simple, just like that, like Joanne asked. All right. Um, so everybody who is here, thanks again for coming. If you have an experience that you would like to share, please feel free to send me a WhatsApp message simply saying, Unstoppable, I have an experience or a story that I would like to share. All right? And I will definitely reach out to you because, like I said, your experience can help someone else who needs to get some positive advice and get you know strengthened in a situation that they might be going through. All right, so all you need to do is just send a WhatsApp message to the number on the screen, 876-420-3368, and I will respond to your message. All right, so until Wednesday night, make sure everybody stay safe. And tonight's show was an awesome show. Carl, I hope you got the answers that you seek. All right, hope the answers that the viewers gave you tonight, the advice that the viewers gave you tonight will help you to make the right decision. All right? Um, Driver, so unstoppable blessings. Thank you for the super chat. So it is that time of the night officially. Let's do this. Because I didn't do it the last time, the last show, which was Wednesday night. So tonight, you know, we definitely can't end the show without doing this. So, unstoppable army, send up the flames. Unstoppable army, send up the flames right now. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see the flames for the Unstoppable Army. Derek C. Williams, much love to you, my brother. Totally appreciate you all the time. Let's go. Send up the flames, Unstoppable Army. All right. Sophia James, Unstoppable. Blessings. Unstoppable Annette, big up yourself. Kizzy, Unstoppable. Unstoppable Boss Lady. Joy Hall, Unstoppable. Miriam, Unstoppable. Jiva, So, Unstoppable. Jazzy, Unstoppable. Chrissy, Unstoppable. Jan Jan L. Unstoppable. Wait there, Jan Jan, you tricked me, you know. Because many things I did add a Jan Jan Unstoppable, you know. Anyway, Susie Unstoppable. Wait, as a matter of fact, Steph Unstoppable. I haven't seen her here tonight. People keep stepping on her prayers because she, as well, is not feeling so well. You understand? She reached out to me and said, Unstoppable. You know, I'm, I'm not feeling so good. So keep Steph in on her prayers, people. Steph Unstoppable. Carlene Unstoppable, much love to you. All right. Barbara, big up yourself. All right. Uh, Carly Unstoppable, Miriam Unstoppable, Jackie Cameron Unstoppable. Let's go. Peaches Robert Unstoppable. Where the rest of the Unstoppable army there? That's it. Where is Kizzy Unstoppable? Me not see Kizzy Unstoppable. Look like I eat that for the Unstoppable army. Shell Unstoppable Lee, Untouchable Queen Dana Marie. Blessings. Let's go, let's go. International Intellect Forever Unstoppable. Boy, what a name. Long. But me rate your CM way because you add the Unstoppable to it. So big up yourself. International Intellect Forever Unstoppable. Boy. Lord. <laughs> Yo. All right. Let's go, let's go. True Loveless Unstoppable in the building. Big up yourself, True Loveless. Jazzy Unstoppable, much love to you. Be Unstoppable Black. Big up yourself. Mr. Peaches Roberts Unstoppable already. I think I eat that. Everybody that. Everybody that. All right. It looks so. It looks so. It looks so. Now, people. All right. Gary in the building. Big up yourself. Gary, blessings, my boss. I'm surprised you're not calling, you're not calling tonight, you know, Gary. Oral Blake. Bless up, bless up, bless up, bless up. Menelva Unstoppable. Fresh Sheen. Unstoppable, big up yourself. 
All right, Sheldon Unstoppable, much love. All right, see Kizzy, they made a wonder where she did, you know. Kizzy Unstoppable, big up yourself. All right, and to the royal family, SF Rose and... Hear me, Queen, Lord God. Queen SF Rose and TR Nair X, big up to the family right over there. Dr. Mia Witta, Kerry Unstoppable, big up yourself. Queen Dania, big up yourself. And to every single one of my moderators, big up on yourself. Totally love and appreciate the whole owner. Know. All right. Now, as I said, if you have an experience that you would like to share, simply just send a message to the number on the screen, 876-420-3368, and I will definitely get back to you. Until Wednesday night, no matter nobody stop you. It's unstoppable.